Hello. Hi. Yeah, what's your name? Sir, my name is Swati. Sir. Swati. So, can you introduce yourself? Yes, sir. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. I'm Swati. I'm basically from Karimnagar, but currently I'm staying in Hyderabad. I have completed my graduation in the stream of computer science in Chattavahana University in the year of 2022 with a degree percentage of uh, the I am coming to my technical skills. I have good command and Python, along with Python, HTML, and MS Office. I am coming to my soft skills. Uh, I am doing communication skills and presentation skills and uh, problem solving. And when I get free time, I am interested to play sports. Uh, and uh, drawing is my favorite hobby. And uh, my family consists of five members, including me. My short term goal is to get a good job in a reputed company and uh, get, a good, get a good position where I can build my career, which is my long term goal. Okay, very good. Alright, so you like playing sports? Yes, sir. What is your favorite sport? Badminton, sir. Badminton, sure. From how much long time you are playing this? Since my childhood, sir. Childhood you are playing? Yes, okay. Schedule badminton or uh, the, the ball badminton? Schedule. Schedule badminton. So what what mode you like? Like singles or doubles? What kind of uh, doubles? Doubles is very good. Okay, right. Okay, fine. That's fine. Uh, let's come to Python once. Okay, right. Because uh, this is based on Python. Okay. So what do you know about Python? Tell me. Sir, uh, Python is a general purpose programming language and uh, it is a interactive interpreter and uh, object oriented language. Mm -hmm. It is created uh, by Guy Van Dessen mm -hmm. in the year of 1991, Feb 20. Okay. And uh, www.python.org is the official That is fine. You told that uh, it is object oriented. Yes. What do you mean by object oriented? Can you tell me exactly? Sir, so, object oriented in the sense, uh, sir, so first object oriented. Object oriented objects includes are uh, main to write the program. What is object? What do you mean by object? Object is nothing but uh, entity, sir. We can use. So, can I say this pen as an object? Yes, sir. Okay, alright. Uh, like, you know, uh, do you know about the constructor? Yes, sir. Can you tell me why we use constructor? Sir, to add the objects into the class. Uh, what is class? Class is a collection of objects uh, which shows similar behavior. Uh, it means uh, class consists uh, similar behavior of objects. What do you mean by method? Method is uh, it is the process of uh, I mean if we create user defined function in a class, mm -hmm. it is that function is called uh, method. Uh, we can use any number of uh, methods in class. Okay. What are the like you know various types of functions available in Python? Uh, functions, uh, uh, sorry, building functions, user-defined functions, and lambda functions. Can you say something about lambda functions? Lambda functions. Uh, lambda function does not have any name, so these functions are called uh, anonymous functions. Um, Do you know syntax of lambda functions? Yes sir, lambda function... For example, I want to perform uh, sum between two numbers. So I want to create a lambda function for that. So can you tell me how we can do that? Lambda arguments, uh, double colon. Mm -hmm. uh, if we give arguments as uh, a comma b, mm -hmm. then we give indentation, then... Why these are called anonymous functions? Because this uh, lambda function cannot have any names uh, any name, that's right. particularly. Okay. That's right. Okay. So can you show an example for lambda function there? Can you write a function? Yes. Yeah, please. So write. Okay, that is fine. Uh, right. Uh, so, can you write a small program? Uh, for example, I have assumed that I have given a number. 
Now I want to identify whether that is the Armstrong number or not. So can you write a code for that? Yes, sir. Yeah, please do it. So take any number as input, uh, check, verify whether that is an Armstrong number or not. Okay? Yeah. So n is not equal to 0, so you are taking uh, in percentile 10, then sum, the sum plus r power b, yes. what is that b, Achha. okay, yes. length, length you are taking, Achha, Achha, Achha. you are converting into string, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you take input as for example 23, okay, n is 23, can you tell me what will happen each, each and every step? Sir, if we take 23, ah. then uh, uh, what is S value? We store uh, ah. this number in S. Ah, right, S will become 23. Yes, then sir. we take the length. Ah, what is the length of that? 2, sir. 2, very good, right. Next. Then sum equals to okay, 0. Yes, yes. Ah. Then while n equals to 0, right. then we take remainder. Ah. Mm -hmm. You are uh, dividing by 10. So by 23 10. percentile 2, what is the answer? 3, by sir. 10. It is 3, uh, remainder, remainder is 3, right. Uh, then, then sum is equal to remainder uh, mm. power b, mm -hmm. in a sense uh, 3 power mm. 2. 3 square, right, okay. Mm. Then again you are taking by 10. Uh, 23. Achha, by quotient 10. you are taking, it right. It will give coefficient, mm -hmm. then s uh, equals mm. to sum, it will give mm. output as Armstrong. Mm. Otherwise it is not Armstrong. Very good, correct, okay. So, Okay, I want to give you one more program, uh, like, uh, so, <coughs> what is inheritance? So, inheritance, uh, it is the process of uh, deriving child class from parent class. Okay, so you write uh, one program, okay, any one program you wish, like using groups, okay. You write a small program to demonstrate how we create the class and how we create, uh, how we add objects, okay. Thank you, All right. So, that's fine. So once let us see uh, the review of this. Okay. So first thing is that uh, you have to be more confident. You are giving right answers, but uh, you are not uh, okay, mentioning it in in confident way. And uh, like you know, like seventy percent you have answered correctly. And coming to the one question you didn't properly answer is like an you know, object. What is object oriented programming? Okay. So means uh, see there are two ways of writing the program. Like you know, logic oriented approach and object oriented approach. Okay. If logic is the prime importance, that approach is called as logic oriented programming and uh, if you take the objects and behavior as the main parameter to write a program, that approach is called as object oriented programming. So that's what you have to say for that. Okay. Then class and method, uh, you have said it correctly, but coming to the creation of the class, the class you have created correctly, but after that, we have to use some kind of constructor. Okay. Without using constructor also, we can do. So next line you have to write is, if you want to add through constructor, na, then you have to write create a method def in it then you have to mention the parameters so that's how you can do that okay so then uh, remaining things are fine okay okay so i wish you all the best